Well, hello to our Q&A. Our heads cut off? Yeah, they okay. are. Well, hello to our Q&A. And welcome, welcome, Mapo fans. And let's you go know, ahead and get started. You know what Mapo means? Mama O and Papa Papa O. <laughs> say it louder so I can hear you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what Mapo means. Okay, this is from Hannah Rose Cardoz. That rhymes. <laughs> Okay, she just wants to make sure that we are praying for those that need need our prayers. And and she wants to you to remember that did you think to pray? Pray morning and night for those in California that are suffering from these fires and anybody else you could think of that needs help. Um, but as of right now, it's the fires. I think 50 have died so far in those fires. Or more. <laughs> and it's just really sad. Boy, and they said uh, rain's like a week away. So when that rain hits, that will pretty much take the fires out. But depending on where, it, but rain. Yeah, is that's true. Yeah, that's we're true. a big area. I that's mean, what we're I hoping. mean, the fires over a big yeah, area. Yeah, that's what we're hoping. And then she wants to know how Rochelle's doing. Rochelle's doing great now. She's all better from her strap, and they got him a new vehicle, and uh, so they're back on track again. That's nice of you to ask. And she wants to know if we have a TV. She doesn't have one. Yeah, we have a TV. Uh huh. And uh, I like to watch the news. And we have a program that me and Papa O watch every night. And she doesn't have one. I. Uh, but standard TV, we don't watch. Well, I watch Channel 13, the news, and Channel 11. Yeah. Yeah. And then she says, um, but she does like Pure Flix. That's a new a new company that's come out and it's pure flex it doesn't have the bad stuff in it and yeah. really a lot of them are true stories and and she wants to know if we've seen gabriel yet and i haven't i'm we're going to look that up and see if we can watch that one that sounds like a good whether one. we watch pure flex or not it'll if it's a small company, they won't have a big, big choice of things to watch. Well, Pure Flix, it's a new company, and it's got some really good movies on. I've seen them advertised. Actually, my favorite and is M Amazon Prime. Right now, movies. we've been on Amazon Prime and watching old movies, but the Pure Flix, it's, um, it takes out the bad stuff. So. Oh, is that something like what Davy was? Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, but it, the other one's called. Vid Angel. Uh, Vid Angel, thanks. Good. Yeah. Vid Angel. They take out the bad Video stuff. Video Angel. Uh -huh. Yeah, and this one's Pure Flix, and this takes out the bad stuff. Because who wants to watch it? Nobody does. You know, you can take a perfectly good movie, and then they th Hollywood throws in these bad scenes. You go, whoa, what was that in there for? It, it didn't need to be in there. It had nothing to do with the movie. So, But that's what I like about Pure Flix and Vid, Pure Flix and Vid Angel. And she wants to know if we ever get to California. And Papa, oh, you were raised there for how many years? Where, when did you live there? Fifty years ago. And where? Hawthorne, California, outside of Inglewood, which is a suburb of Los okay. Angeles. And how long? Four years. Okay. Good job. And I've been there about three I, times. And I only got beat up a few times coming over to school. In school? Oh. Not in fellers. school. Coming, walking home from school. They actually beat you up? No. Well... Actually, it was starting to become a rough area, and today mm. Hawthorne and Inglewood are some of the, it's like Compton, it's one of mm. the very rough, rough cities. Oh dear. And they would just hide and just beat you up? Uh, one guy, I was, w my cousins didn't have a bicycle, and I had mine, and he just came out of nowhere with a baseball bat and started oh. wrecking the bike. And so he went home. <laughs> oh, and then went... Oh. Well, I think he punched me first in the face. Oh, face ouch. And, it, and then he broke broke my, uh, the bike that we Are had. Do you feel better now? Jeez. Poor little So fellers. I'm just saying it's a, it's a very lot worse area now today. Now, wow. That's not fun. Check it out. Inglewood and Hawthorne, very rough. Mm. Something like Compton, a very rough area, gang, yeah. gang area. For our honeymoon, we, we drove out there. Joe had me visit all the cousins that were out there. We went to Disneyland. We went to Huntington Beach. Beach, yeah. Huntington Beach, where your grandma lived and used to live. And That's where actually Lindy taught at Lindy, the college there. Your uncle. mother's dad, yeah. Uh, your mother's brother. 
No. Lindy. Yeah, my mother's yeah. brother. Yeah. yeah. And my uncle. Your yeah. uncle, yes. Uh huh. And so we got to visit, and we we stayed with them and visited with them and went to the beach. So, uh, and I've been with, my mother was born in California. And so I've been out there a few times with Rochelle's family to, di to Disneyland and Disney, Disney, uh, um, what's the Sea World? Sea World, yeah. yeah. On sea, in what's sea World. Sea World? Oh, yeah, yeah, what's the Sea World? Yeah. I was going to say something else. Okay. Uh, now this one is Hello, Hello. You want to read that one? Yeah, the, that blanket is so beautiful. Ambry's, that, uh, that oh, I'm just putting That's your own comments. That's yeah. my own comment. So she knows what blanket that is. And that's when we showed Ambry's baptism blanket. I'm going to show you how I used to do the blankets. And this is how we made the picture quilts. Oh, I don't know, 40 years ago, you had to, it cost $10 a square. And I don't know, they put them on with the machine. You can tell a lot of them are fading off. So see the pictures are fading, but that's how we used to do it. I had to sew each square in. So it's so nice to have it. Well, you don't have to do that, and I'll show you another one. Yeah, we do the fair each year. I sewed those into a quilt, and then got so you could print print the pictures onto this kind of paper, and then you could wash them. So that was an improvement, and now Walmart does them. So it's pretty fun to see the improvements. I'm married 23 years, 1999, year 2000 our 20th wedding anniversary so that's fun fun little quilt okay so that's how i used to do the blankets and uh it's a lot easier now before i would have to get the picture the photo take it down to the mall and leave the pictures there for like a week pay ten dollars per picture and then I would go get the they pictures print back, it, print, it on, print the, it on a, pe a, a square piece of and material. And those old ones, when you'd wash it, they would. Then they, they come off. You yeah. can't wash them. They come off. And that's how I made Tyra's blanket. She's eight, She's 17 now. and But uh, now they print it right on the blanket. And it is just so nice. It's so much cheaper. Where before it was $10 a square. So if you want, and they didn't, and they were all the same size, you don't get the different sizes like you do now. And uh, it's just so much better. It's so, so much nicer now. And $45, what, $55. When you say make a blanket, you're referring to photos. You're not referring to the sewing around the edges. I used everything. to, yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, the one now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to sew those pictures in. Yeah, and it was so much but, but work. But not making a blanket. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. making yeah, so it's it's just really nice now. I can't specify that enough. Oh, and then I got the squares where you could, where you could, uh, probably cost ten dollars to get maybe five squares, and I thought that was good. And then you slip them into your printer and print the, and then you print the picture right onto that square. But still, those were all the same as, size, it, and it wasn't as clear as what no, Walmart. No, no, Walmart. They they just do so much better, and I think Costco does them too. But we just stick with Walmart. Okay, why don't you read the next one? Daniel Lefko. Good day, Roseanne. She, she goes, good day. Good day, I She's like that. Good day. Good day. <laughs> in Australia, the days are long, and, and you are in the U.S., and the days are short. Mm, yes, it gets dark so early. Okay, this is this question. What time you and Joe wake up and go to bed? We're bad. We're <laughs> Wait a minute, what does that mean? Wake up to go to bed? I, I... Oh, because I'm, we don't... Oh, I don't I'm know usually in bed by one and up by by nine sometimes when I get sometimes I wake up at eight Papa O gets to bed about three, three or four three no or but four if I in the teach, morning if I teach the next morning mm -hmm. uh, at the high school then You're I up at four. I'm up at four but if I didn't get to bed early like if I then I have to have an immediately have a nap, a nap when I come home from school mm -hmm. Yeah, so your your sleep is kind of messed up. It takes you a while to get. I've I've always been studying and reading. I've always done all oh, between twelve and three in the morning. I've always done it that way since my college. Yeah, he days. just wants to stick with that. So. Yeah, my college days I did it that and way. And his college well, days. Well, everything he... was quiet. Yeah. No noises anywhere. 
Yep. And that's kind of the schedule we're on now. So that's that's kind of fun. Okay, and then hello, hello again. The CD at the end, who is that singing? We, we forgot to finish that, her question. And the song was um, Joining in God's Army, and that's my sister Judy and Elisa, my sister Elisa singing, and it's just a beautiful song. Uh, so that's who's singing in that one. Okay, and Augustus Green, he wants to know if we could do toe drawing Pictionary Challenge. <laughs> I was thinking, I would not do well with that because my toes would just cramp up. I can't hold anything in my feet. <laughs> what about you? Would you? <laughs> I think what, was... what we ought to have is a eating rice challenge with uh, sticky uh, rice. Just try to make it pleasant. Yeah. Because <laughs> let's just eat rice and put what sauces we want on yeah. it. So, we should so, do one of his challenges. Challenge. I'll have to pick what uh, Augustus. He has uh, some amazing ideas on fun challenges that we can do. But he probably never <clears throat> doesn't want to do them. So oh, I, I don't know, but they all sound fun. We'll have to try one of them. I don't. But uh, we'll have to try one of those. Okay, and then to end with, Mama and Papa O, uh, do you have uh, advice on marriage and how to make it work? Let's see. Well, we've been married 44 years, and um, what one thing that I don't know we can kind of sum it up. One thing I know is I actually wrote a song about it. Is um, treat her, treat each other like you did when you were dating. I mean, you do work so hard to please her. to please her or him. And you, you just do everything you can you, uh, to have a fun date and to, to please that person and to make them happy. And you're thinking of what you can do. Because if somebody steals your mate away from you, that's what they're doing. They're treating them. They're, treat, they're laughing at their jokes. They're, they think <laughs> they're smart. They think they're cute. They think they're funny. Wait, you have uh, to say who you're talking about. The guy talking about Well, it depends on whoever... You know, it goes either way. Yeah, I see. You yeah, mean. like if there's a guy trying to steal the girl, or if there's a girl trying to steal the guy, um, that's just what they do. It's not their looks. It's not their oh, sometimes charm. It's their looks. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, I get. I don't know, but I think it's just um, they're just la they're just laughing at their jokes. And but the clincher yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, and, so, and maybe I can post that song <clears throat> that song at the end of this video. Gotta love her like you did before she was yours. Or it's, he it before says he it all. was yours. It says it all. So I'll post that song I'll use that song for my closing. And um and another one real quick and then I'll let you say something. Um is when you marry someone, like like I'll I'll do the female side. Uh let's say it Oh, I married him because he was so funny. I'm divorcing him because he's never yep. serious. <laughs> or I'm marrying him because he's the life of the party. And I'm divorcing him because he that's all he wants to do is party. He, you know. And then, mm, so, or I'm yeah. marrying him because he makes me laugh all the time. And, a, lot of, a lot of younger uh, people or, say that. Or, yeah, I'm divorcing him because that's all he does is joke around. He's never serious. Or, you know, it, it's funny, it says, when you make that deal, you when you marry that person, you make a deal uh, that that you're going to stick with them, you promise God, you, you make it through. Of course, you're both going to change. You change and grow, but you change and grow together and compliment each other. Just do what you did when you were dating. And if you married somebody because they're funny, they they think that's what you like. They They think that that's that you'd like their jokes and so laugh at him it's it's funny and if he's never serious i'm sure there's moments that he's serious uh then so be it you know that's the deal you made or let's say you say well i married him because because he's a hard worker and you say well i'm divorcing him because that's all he does is work say that's the deal and you 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 can't just all of a sudden get fed up with it and change your mind and say, oh, I'm just sick of it. Say, well, you can't just do that. That's the deal. That's what attracted you to that person in the first place. 
And don't just say, well, you got to change. That's not fair to do that. And, and if you, if you think he's smart, let him know he's smart. Don't start, uh, one thing that, don't start making him feel like an idiot. Compliment him. And, and one thing that couples do about, about our phase of life after the kids have left the nest is they don't know each other very well because we've been raising the kids, the dad's been working or vice versa, and you don't know each other very well. So well, you got to start you getting to, to know each other. explain more than that. Cause, Go ahead. Because most, most couples married a long time, they can predict mm -hmm. without fail about what, That's true. What, what bothers the person, the other person. Yeah, and, and one thing that it can be your advantage or it can be your disadvantage is you know that person really well. You know what hurts them and you know what, what makes them smile. And quit doing the one that hurts them. You know better. You know better than to do that. And, and do the one that helps, uh, builds, complement, uh, keep, keep on going, because this can be the most precious part of your marriages. After the kids are gone, and you have time together. I now. would you say can, be very careful with, quote, constructive criticism. Yes. We had a rule. We started this rule years ago when we were first married. Sar you don't use sarcasm. You can't say, oh, you're so stupid. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Say, no, we're not doing and that. One we, of our prophets told us that. Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah. Of David o. McKay, yeah. Just McKay. say, you can't just do a just kidding after. You, you don't say it in the first place. You, uh, you just don't play that game. And, you, and another rule we made is we never say the D word, which is divorce. Oh, I thought it was a devil. Well, that, that one too. <laughs> <laughs> we never, ever say it because you'll, you'll do that. You'll play around and say, well, let's get a divorce. You know, when you're, of course, when you're angry. No. And one of these times that other person will say, all right. Let's do it. And neither one of you want a divorce, but you've been and then it's throwing question, that who, word out there. Who's going to back down first? Yeah, and then you say, I ain't backing down. I ain't backing down. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. just sit there and sit and act like a bunch like of two-year-olds. Like my parents, he kept saying, let's have a yeah, divorce. Yeah, that and, happened. To and my mom said no, and finally, after 12 years, mm -hmm. she said, okay. He said, okay. And then he couldn't talk her out of it because yeah. he'd been saying it for so many years. So don't play that game. Don't don't play around with that. And um, compliments I, I, are the food for the soul. Don't criticize you. You see them. Uh, no. How about Davy thing? Look for the good. Yeah, look for the good. And you, you see this a lot in TV sitcom shows where the an older couple they sit and nitpick at each other. I think it's it. They think it's funny for the show, uh, but it's not funny in real life. You don't sit and nitpick at each other. Well, you uh, have a lot of jokes you tell when you're entertaining it. The old folks, mm -hmm. the one where it says, uh, "I'm sure proud of you, honey," and and that, the other one's kind of hard of hearing. He goes, "I'm tired of you too." <laughs> <laughs> they think that's well, the that's funniest so, joke. That, that is it is a funny you. one. I'm tired of you too. So, so we I want said, me to add mine yet? Yeah, add yours up. Okay, mine is, <laughs> don't let little things become big things. Like if it's something because. You don't like the toilet seat up, just put it down, and vice versa. But to get in an argument over it, because mm -hmm. there's many arguments that get super serious, mm -hmm. and they they yeah. can't even remember what, how they started the argument. That's right. They can't remember. And and remember, if you argue about the toilet seat, whether it's up or down, your marriage will go to pot. <laughs> That's another one. Or jokes. how you put the, okay. the toilet paper roll on uh, if it or rolls from the top. Or how you squeeze the, the toothpaste, or if it's from the top or the bottom, or or did you shut that cupboard? Sometimes I joke about you. I leave all the cupboards open, but don't let that be don't. your downfall. I mean, if you were dating, Court and you wouldn't go in and here's sit a, nip. Here's each another other. saying that goes with that. Uh, pick carefully. The hill you want to die on. Yeah, is that the hill you want to die on, really? Yeah. Is that the one you want? In other words, you want that little argument about a little annoying habit. You want that to be the one that's going to cause mm -hmm. a divorce. They say that. Pick something better than and that. A lot, of, a lot of times the person will say, "Well, what'd you guys get divorced for?" I don't know. We're just fighting all the time. I don't know. You don't even know. 
you can't even pinpoint and, and it, you actually love each other and you do want to be together but you don't know how so it's really simple you knew how when you were dating nobody had to give you any advice on that you were fine on your own then so so just you'll be fine in your marriage if you remember that say so stop just act like you're dating yeah stop nitpicking because you don't do it when you're dating be nice to each other and um uh, just just remember is that the hill you want to die on is this is this really the battle you want to fight and it's cheaper to keep her <laughs> <laughs> remember that it's uh, a lot uh, like you think well it's, it's not good for us to argue all the time say well don't say you're arguing say you disagree say that we disagree on the time Young, that, uh, all the time people <clears throat> I, I just heard from you know pe guys that had divor got divorced when they were younger Somebody gave him some advice that said, if, you, if you're going to have a divorce, I know you're thinking about all the cute girls that you, <laughs> you'll get a chance to go out with now. Don't forget to buy a TV set and have that. going to be a lot of lonely you'll be watching nights. TV a lot. Good advice. You think, oh, I'm such a stud. I'll go out there. And that's, so many songs are written about those broken hearts. And oh, please, there's so much divorce going on, and especially at our age. Uh, yep. You don't don't do it. Stay together and just make it work. Make it happen and and just make it pleasant to be with each other. So you don't have to fight. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to. Um, you got, got me distracted. Uh, you don't have to uh, be apart when you really do want to be together. That's good. And, I like that. Um, and if you think, well, it's not working so far, say, well, make it work. Uh, make this your happily ever after. And, and, and just, you have total control over what comes out of that mouth of yours. And remember that you can, like if you're, a policeman stops you for the car, do you start getting mad at him because he's saying stuff you don't like? No, no. You, you hold your tongue. Yes. So that proves Anybody that says I have a temper is lying. Yeah. Because notice he doesn't have a temper if a policeman is asking mm -hmm. for his or driver's if, license. Or if somebody else walked into the door, if your mother walked in, or if if somebody. So I'm, so I'm uh, saying yeah. that it's the biggest one of the biggest lies there are is a person mm -hmm. that says, "Well, I just have a temper." Mm -hmm. Because you are con how, you are controlling that yeah. temper in front of certain people. Or you say, "I'm just going to say how I feel." So, no, hold that tongue. One of the hardest things you'll ever have to do is hold that tongue. Hold it. My aunt would say, "Your tongue's in a slippery is in a wet place, and it might slip." <laughs> say, "Oh, whoops, it slipped." So, uh, just control it. You have total control over that. Like, like my great great grandfather said, "If you can't say anything good." Don't say it. I Don't say it was anything. Thumper that said that. No. It was your great great grandfather. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close with those thoughts and Who is Thumper? I'm um, Bambi. When Thumper would come out. And no, okay, I don't. I'll have watch to show Bambi. him that clip. He he's not a TV watcher or I, a movie watcher. I don't watch cartoons. All those that know Bambi and Little Thumper would say that. Comment below, <laughs> and comment below what you do to to make it through those. Uh, I call them disagreements, not arguments through those disagreements and um and just just keep on a going and uh you, you think those people that have been married 60 years 50 years was easy it ain't easy a they, lot of them are still they hand learn, holding a yeah hold those hand. hands yeah. and touch each other when and you don't, walk by don't let somebody sit between you and your spouse yeah that was another rule we had we never let anybody sit between us kids. even in church yeah even in the church. people think they have to corral their kids the uh, mom on this side the dad on this side and corral the kids in the middle uh-uh you sit together dad's got the ones on this side and mom's got the ones on well, this you, side you used to say better be good or you'll have to sit on the other side side oh, sit side on dad's dad. side yeah you don't let anybody sit between you you you're in a movie you don't need to corral the kids um, and Tell sit by each other. From the farm, corral <laughs> the corral, kids. corral the kids. But I hope that'll help. And if anybody's thinking of divorce right now, turn it around. Stop it. Start courting. What would you do if you were trying to win that person over? I would. And, say, my recommendation is tomorrow, go to Walmart for five dollars. You can get a cute little bouquet of flowers, and then mm -hmm. she'll say, "Oh, what's that for?" And you'll say, 
No it's, reason flowers. It's the call and, no and if reason and flowers. if the husband does bring some flowers home, do don't do I had a sister that did that, she says, too little, too late. And just would not give him a chance. Give Wait, him a which chance. Sister was it? I'll tell you later. <laughs> you can't they can hear. Okay. Um so so just just stay together and you say, Well, I don't like the way he talks to me. Say, well, uh, talk to him nice. How he wouldn't be able to resist somebody. No, if you that's... don't like what I'm saying, just go like this. Mm. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> and just learn how to work it out, and you have control. We've been don't ten, ten minutes talking. About I know. I was thinking, don't act like a bunch of a couple of two year olds in a sand pile fighting over the shovel. And it's better to be married than to be right. Ask yourself when you're getting in a, in a uh, disagreement, say, do I want to be married or do I want to be right? I, I thought you said it first. It's be better to be buried. Married than to be right. <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't matter if you're right. Big deal. It's it, You sit and argue over, well, it was Tuesday. No, it wasn't. It was, well, whatever. Anyway, uh, so that's... Hopefully that'll help uh, because it's not easy. It's a commitment. You work through it. You uh, you keep keep the We're fires going on burning. Ten minutes on this subject. I know you, you just said that. No, maybe it's nine minutes. No, it's ten minutes. <laughs> We're going to put an argument. We're telling them how to not disagree, and then we disagree. <laughs> We're just playing around. Okay, we'll go ahead and close with a couple of quotes. I wasn't playing around. Was <laughs> you were serious? All right, we got our quotes. Okay, you have to enjoy life. Always be surrounded by people that you like. People who have a nice mm -hmm. conversation. There are so many positive things to think about. Actually, a movie star, Sophie Loren, said that. Oh, I like but, that. But oh, you can imagine... Have a friend that's always gossiping about saying negative things about mm -hmm. I don't know their husband or their cousin or their neighbor uh, negative comments and thinking and conversation drains your en it your drains you. it drains your positive energy it does so you be the positive one and turn it around. Do not go where the path may lead. go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Well, and, unless it's a good path, like the iron rod. Yes, uh huh. And uh, so, w with back to marriages, if it if you're on a bad path, then get on a good path and turn it around. Just start start carting again, as my dad would say. Well, we were out of carting. She means court, court, court and carton. <laughs> Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And remember to look for the rose. And good, good night, everybody. What about ringing the, the <laughs> and bell? And ring the bell. Ring the bell, too. No, no look and see if there's uh, a notification on it, meaning mm -hmm. you have a new video that they haven't okay. watched. That's right. That's what it means. It, it, it will get you notified when my next video comes up. Yes. Thank you, and good night, everybody. <sighs> What's the matter, boy? Looks like your heart's broken too. You say she left, just don't know what to do. You say she cried every night, and lately all you seem to do is fly. Down on the floor, picked up her bag, stomped off, and then slammed the door. He watched her as she drove away. 
you can do oh, I'm telling you boy that just isn't true get up and find her as fast as you can tell her you still love her then take her hand you know love loving like you did before before she was yours remember Oh, oh, oh.